What's up, guys? All right, so quick video. I'm on my way to work. Uh, so tell me, uh, you know, is this nihilistic? I'm going <laughs> to treat people, try to fight this coronavirus thing, uh, and see what happens. So, so no, I, I, I don't believe in nihilism. And if you uh, watch some of my videos or, or have read some of my stuff, you'll know that I have this kind of philosophy in treating addiction, which is reject apathy and fight nihilism, because nihilism is a dangerous psychology and a dangerous philosophy to live your life by. Now, I've been accused of not really knowing what nihilism is, or I've been accused of just being you know, wrong, or uh, not having traveled, which is strange. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, but it's, it tends to me come down to this, okay? So when I, I like to get into this discussion with folks, and then we'll say, well, what about morality? And most nihilists will say morality is subjective. Okay, which means what you think is right is right for you. Somebody else has different views. Now, this sounds good because what they're usually thinking about is just like your own personal choices for like who you're with, or and, and it's, it's almost like when you talk about objective morality, they are so worried you're going to try to put some kind of restrictions on their sex life that uh, they just can't stand for that, right? But no, what I'm talking about is just because. We differ on what we think is right or wrong does not make it subjective. It's just a differing opinion because there could be an objective truth that one of us is wrong or that both of us is wrong, okay? So we're trying to look for that objective truth. Now, to me, it is obvious that morality is objective and not subjective. Now, we're not talking about like little places where, uh, um, you know, the situation, because a situation may call for a different uh, uh, response or circumstance, right? So when I'm talking about objective morality, I'm not talking about a list of laws or a list of rules to follow. I'm talking about something deeper, something mo more uh, coherent than that, okay? But we can look at it in terms of something hideous, like child trafficking. Now, it doesn't matter if some cultures find it acceptable. It's not. It's wrong. It's morally wrong. And you know it you know that's true. Like, if you reject that, if you think, no, no, it may be wrong for me and I would never do something like that, but if they want to do it, that's okay. No, that's dumb, <laughs> okay? And that's not an appropriate response. So therefore, we have to figure out, okay, then what is right, what is wrong, and and, and what is the objective standard for the, those uh, things, okay? Now, I realize you're not going to necessarily jump straight to God or whatever, okay? But you need some type of grounding in your beliefs and in this morality or else you're going to get caught up in the subjectivity and this nihilistic viewpoint that anything goes. Now, a another um, argument that somebody brought was that, you know, there's no evidence for heaven or hell. And, okay, I think there's plenty of evidence. Look around you. See, that's a misconception that heaven and hell is just something that happens after you die. No. Heaven and hell starts here on earth. Your decisions, your actions help to either create this place, a heaven for somebody or a hell for somebody. All right? Your actions, your decisions, your values, your morality. And that is the truth. I'm sorry if I was preachy, but I just felt like that needed to be explained. So no, guys, nihilism is not acceptable, and it is not true. So what else? Do you have questions, comments? I'm sure the atheists and the nihilists are going to hate this, but hey, whatever. All right, guys, I'm going to fight the good fight, whether I win or lose. And I would urge you to do the same thing. All right.